In this video, we demonstrate a safer procedure for the synthesis of 4-nitrophenyl azide using trimethylsilyl azide and tertiary butyl nitrite. Four nitroaniline is dissolved in acetonitrile and trimethylsilyl azide is added. This is then cooled on an ice bath before dropwise addition of tertiary butyl nitrite. If this reaction is not carried out on an ice bath, it quickly reaches refluxing temperatures due to its exothermic nature. This makes the reaction very unsafe. This reaction is also the basis of the in situ generated azides used later in this course and in other videos. First, 0.6 mL of acetonitrile is placed in a 5 mL round-bottomed flask. 74 mg of 4-nitroaniline are then added. Zero point zero nine milliliters of trimethylsilyl azide are now added. The reaction is cooled to zero degrees C on ice and stirred for five minutes. Zero point zero seven milliliters of tertiary butyl nitrite is added dropwise with caution. If you look closely, you will see that even with the ice bath, this reaction can be very vigorous. Here you can see that without the ice bath, the reaction quickly reaches reflux. After the addition of the tertiary butyl nitride, the ice bath is removed and the reaction is left to stir for 10 minutes at room temperature. Upon completion of this, all that is required to yield the azide is to remove the solvents by rotary evaporation. Before doing this, we remove the stirrer bar, carefully washing any traces of azide into the flask. We then also wash the neck of the flask to remove any traces so that they are not detonated by the twisting action of ground glass joints. The solvents are removed on the rotary evaporator to yield the product.